So I want to talk about one of the major hidden reasons for hair loss. Okay, check this out. This is very interesting. Um, I don't know if you've ever heard of vitamin H, but another name for vitamin H is biotin. Okay, now when you're deficient in biotin, you're going to develop hair loss, especially alopecia. Okay, um, number two, you may get thinning of the hair. Number three, brittle nails or a skin rash. Could be flaking, scaling skin. You could have a loss of hair color, mild depression, muscle pain, or extreme tiredness. But other than that, you're going to be doing great. I'm being sarcastic. Biotin acts as a cofactor, a helper B vitamin. It's a type of B vitamin for certain enzymes, especially for the hair and the skin, and also to make certain essential fats within body tissue. And that's all really interesting, but what's really important is to know why you might be deficient in biotin. So the question is, maybe you're not consuming enough biotin from the diet, right? Well, chances are that's not the reason because it's in a lot of different foods. It's in almonds, eggs, onions, tomatoes, peanuts, uh, salmon, romaine lettuce, cauliflower, and it's in a lot of other foods as well. Or maybe you're consuming too many raw eggs. When you consume raw eggs, I'm talking about the white part, okay? It has a certain chemical that blocks your absorption of biotin. But you would have to consume at least six to eight raw eggs every single day for several months to have that happen. But the major reason why most people are deficient in biotin are either they don't have enough intestinal good bacteria because we depend on our good bacteria to make certain nutrients, especially biotin. So if you took antibiotics for some reason and it destroyed your friendly bacteria and you didn't replace it, that could be one reason why you're not making biotin, okay? And when you don't have the friendly bacteria, you get an overgrowth of an unfriendly bacteria and that could lead to alopecia right there. So that's one cause. The other cause is malabsorption. You don't have the ability to absorb biotin in your small intestine. And that could be coming from irritable bowel syndrome, celiac, Crohn's disease, some type of ongoing inflammatory condition that gave you scar tissue and now you can't absorb it. And that would also explain why someone would start taking a biotin supplement and all of a sudden their hair comes back, their skin looks great, they start developing thicker hair, and their diet's pretty good. The problem is they can't absorb 100% of it because they have damage in their GI tract. So they have to take more to create the effect. Or it could be that they have an imbalance of microflora that they're not able to make enough of it, so they just need a lot more. So if you're having hair loss and you've tried a lot of different things, you've tried trace minerals, uh, you're eating higher quality protein, uh, you're taking the B vitamins, well, guess what? It could be this right here. So you may need to take a supplement or you may need to support your, your friendly bacteria and start taking more probiotics. And if you have not seen my other videos on hair loss, I put them up right here. Check them out.